Here we are, here we are, here we are! Welcome to Nowhere Nomad. Huzzah, huzzah! I'm your host, Loki. Let's get on with the vid EO. Now, guys, uh, me and Heidi have decided to hitchhike uh, all the way to Queenstown from Wanaka because Tristan is going to stay in Wanaka for a couple of days and do a little bit of exploring. Uh, I, unfortunately, don't have that luxury uh, because my time in New Zealand is running out. So, we're on the road, we're hitchhiking, waiting to get a lift to Queenstown and all we need really is someone nice with a kind heart and possibly a cat in the back seat. Just hitchhiking in Wanaka. We're just on our way to Queenstown now. And there's a cat in the back. <laughs> Queenstown. You can just see Queenstown through the pass, through that little valley there. Amazing. What a beautiful day. So here we are at Sir Cedric's Bungee Backpackers and pretty much this is the cheapest uh, backpackers in the whole of Queenstown at 27 bucks a night but unfortunately it's closing down soon it's only open for another week and then they're shutting shop and they're knocking it down and making a holiday in so I'm quite lucky actually to have found a space here Wow, I mean there's the free box there Size of these mothers. Those pine cones. That's insane. Look. So, guys, first day in Queenstown, arriving in this magical place with crystal blue lakes and mountains soaring into the sky. I was pretty amazed, to be honest. So, I had a little wander around the town uh, just to see what it was like. So here we go guys, first day in Queenstown and I must say it's very beautiful over here, very picturesque. So here we are in Queenstown <laughs> and here we have the Britannia restaurant. I can, uh, I can just see the menu now. Bangers and mash and fish and chips. Should have a look what's on the menu, actually. Could be funny. Although, to be honest, there's no bangers and mash or fish and chips. But, to be fair, there is salmon. There is. The, the sovereign smoked southland salmon. Um, but what... <laughs> What I find uh, more hilarious is this one up here. Siemens seafood chowder. <laughs> it's 13.50 and it's thick and creamy, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> you can't call it Siemens. Needless to say, I didn't order the seafood chowder. Far too salty, apparently. Check out this little James Bond vehicle just coming into the harbour. Hydro attack, pretty cool. There's another one coming out. Awesome.
I mean, how could you not love living here? Seriously. <laughs> so, I've been in Queenstown a couple of days by this point, and uh, I finally met up with Tristan again. He's just arrived today. Uh, so we decided to go to the infamous Ferg Burger. Now, I've been told by quite a few travellers that if I want to get good eats in Queenstown, I have to go to Ferg Burger. So me and Tristan went to Ferg Burger and decided to give it a little bit of a rating. So here we are in Queenstown's famous Ferg Burger restaurant. Me and Tristan getting Fucking some... busy. It's bloody busy. It's, you can tell it's popular, but you know what it's like. Here's on the table, Tristan. Hello. This place is banging. You're making a whole video of the fucking burger, I mean. Yeah. What's your verdict there, Tristan? Right, tell us again. Good. Yeah. I'm fucking full. Full. I'm fucking full. It was a great burger. Wouldn't say it's the best in the world. It was a decent burger. How many would you give out of 10? Marks uh, out of 10. Well, a decent seven and a half. So that's a decent seven and a half for yeah. Tristan's Mr. Big Stuff. Half a pound of beef. I had the holier than thou tofu burger, which was really good. I'll give it an eight, a little bit higher. Um, yeah, Ferg burger, I'm really full. Highly recommended. Yep. Fat bastards on the run. What does that siren mean? Is there going to be an avalanche? Let's go to the cookie bar. We're just in the cookie time shop and it smells absolutely amazing in here. It smells like warm cookie dough. Pika Pika! Well, don't worry guys, I haven't ordered a side order of heroin with my donut. That's just filled with chocolatey goodness. So there we go guys, uh, that wasn't a heroin filled donut, I promise, <laughs> it, was just, it was just a syringe that they put in the top so you can squirt more chocolate into it. Uh, why they felt the need to put a syringe in there, I don't know, but you know, uh, a dessert for junkies perhaps. Anyway guys, um, if you like this video, don't forget to smash me a like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you share this video, that would be grand. Big gloves as always, and I shall see you on the flip side. Well, well, if you kids want drug advice, you just come on down to old Uncle Walter. I wouldn't eat a heroin injected donut. That's the only donut in the world that makes you thinner when you eat it. Last time I was really sick when I ate one of those. Oh, oh, oh.